today we will discuss about amoeba proteus. Amoeba is a free living freshwater protist coming under phylum Rhizopoda. Its body is minute and microscopic and covered all around by selectively permeable membrane called plasma lemma or plasma membrane. It is the plasma lemma or plasma membrane. Body has no constant shape. Since the shape of the body changes every now and then. On all sides the body is produced into several pseudopodia. Several pseudopodias are present. These are the pseudopodia. This okay, these are the pseudobodial movements. Okay, which is which are lobular, blunt, and broad, and hence is called a lobopodia. Pseudopodia is also called a lobopodia. They are made only temporary structure for locomotion and food capture. They appear and disappear very quickly. This is a part of cytoplasm. Um, cytoplasm is divided into two. It is two regions, namely outer ectoplasm and inner endoplasm. Outer ectoplasm and inner endoplasm. Ectoplasm is thin, almost clear, non-granular and a homogeneous layer. On the other hand, Endoplasm is a granular and a transparent core. Endoplasm is further differentiated into two, two physically different and interchangeable states. Namely, an outer stiff layer called a plasma gel and inner fluid mass is called a plasma sol. Okay, this plasma sol can perform a cyclic streaming movement called a cyclosis. We discuss about endoplasm. Coming to the endoplasm contain biconvex nucleus is the biconvex nucleus. Endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, ribosomes, Golgi bodies, and several vacuoles. And crystal of reserve foods and oil glands also present. Vacuoles are two kinds of vacuoles are present. Here is the food vacuoles, is the food vacuoles and the contractile vacuoles. Food vacuoles are feeding in function and they are center of the intracellular digestion. Contractile vacuoles are large fluid filled vacuole considered with the osmo regulation. So function as contractile vacuole function as osmo regulation. Okay, when we discuss about the locomotion of amoeba. The locomotion of amoeba is accomplished by the extending pseudopodia of the direction of movement. Pseudopodia formation involves protoplasmic flow. Pseudopodia lo locomotion is a characteristic of amoeba, hence is called a amoeboid movement. Okay. The physical mechanism responsible for the pseudopodial formation and amoeboid movement is sol gel transformation of the protoplasm okay nutrition in amoeba is holozoic so digestion part we continue with the digestion part it involves food capture injection ejection digestion circulation absorption and ejection food capture and ejections are accompanied by the pseudopodia Accompanied by the formation of food vacuoles, digestion is intracellular, take place within the food vacuole by the action of enzymes discharged from the endoplasm. Many enzymes are discharged from the endoplasm. The digested food is circulated all over the body and cytoplasmic streaming. The undigested residue is thrown out by ejection. Then we discuss about the respiration. Respiration is an ex and excretion take place with a simple diffusion across the plasma lemma. 
nitrogenous waste mostly included urea and uric acid and also ammonia. Osmoregulation is accomplished by the removal of surplus water from the body with the help of contractile vacuoles. The vacuole collects the excess water. It is a contractile vacuole which collects the excess water cell to the maximum size and moves to the periphery and suddenly contract. This result, it collapses, the contractile vacuole collapses and the pumping out of its content. Soon, a new vacuole will be formed. The phase of enlargement of the vacuole is called a diastole and the phase of contractile is called a systole. Okay. Then, we will discuss about the reproduction of amoeba. Amoeba reproduce asexually by binary fission and multiple fission or sporulation. Binary fission occur under favorable conditions and multiple fission under unfavorable condition. Binary fission involve an altered and abbreviated mitotic division called cryptomitosis. The binary fission include a mitotic division. This is named as cryptomitosis. Multiple fission is the division of parent body into several daughter amoebae. During this, the nucleus undergoes repeat, repeated division and forms several daughter nuclei. Each daughter nucleus gets surrounded by a bit of protoplasm, forming an amoebula. The amoebula soon get enclosed by cyst or spore cast, forming a spore. Then the parent body breaks down, liberating the spores. With one set of favorable condition, the spore case absorb water and break down, liberating the amoebula. The amoebula is gradually developed to an adult. During, during extreme and environmental condition, amoeba protect itself by an encystment. It secretes around it a resistant and a protective covering called a cyst. With the cyst, it spans the difficult period of dormant state. On the return favorable condition, the cyst dissolves and the amoeba resumes its normal life activities. This is called a existment. Thank you.